Recording with multiple cameras at the same time or even phones is a great way to spice up your videos and also avoid those nasty jump cuts like those ones. By the end of this video you'll know how stupidly easy it is to edit with multiple camera angles in Resolve. So here in Resolve we've got these three video files. These are all from three different camera angles. This one is from an A7S III. This one is from a phone, and this one is from an A7R4. So we could go and edit each of these video files separately and chop out the bits we want to create a kind of multi-camera edit, but that's gonna be super tedious, really error prone, and it's gonna make you not want to bother. Instead, we can actually go and create a multi-cam sequence, which is gonna make things so much easier. So once you've got all of your video files from the different cameras, select them all, and then right click and come to this option, create new multi-cam clip using selected clips. Click that. And then you get this dialog box. If you want your starting time code to start at zero rather than one hour, you can change it here. And you can also give the new clip that this is going to create a specific name. In this case, we'll just call it demo multicam. You can choose a specific frame rate. And then you have this angle sync dropdown. There's a few different ways that you can sync up the different video files so that when you make edits, it's editing in the same place. That'll make sense in just a minute. If you're using professional equipment that you set up time codes for, then you can use this time code option. If you know that all of the clips start at exactly the same time or at a specific endpoint, you can choose in or out, or you can manually set up markers on the individual clips that are going to be used as the sync point. However, the easiest way is to first of all, make sure you're recording sound on all of the cameras and then select this sound option from the dropdown. When you choose to sync up all of the angles by sound, what Resolve is going to do is it's going to look at all of the audio in the separate video files and look for the common points and then kind of mesh them all together or merge them over the top of each other so that the same audio is always going to be at the same point in the edited timeline. Next, you get to choose how the individual angles are going to be named when it comes to editing the multicam sequence. Choosing sequential for the angle name is fine and it'll basically just give you a number, camera one, two, three, as you're editing the multicamera sequence. However, it's not very descriptive and you're constantly thinking about oh, which sequential number is to which camera. I'll show you a better way to create your multicam sequence later that's going to actually let you choose the names for the camera angles. If you want to you can also choose the clip name for the camera angle or the file name. We'll just leave this at sequential. This tick box will automatically move any of the source clips that we've selected to a new bin that it will create called original clips. I'll show you what this does but if you want to leave the original clips in the same place make sure this is not ticked. Then simply go and hit create and you can see that Resolve analyzed all of the content. It's created this new demo multicam clip and it's moved all of the original three clips into this original clips bin. Now we've got this multicam clip which contains all of the synchronized video files, we can go and just edit it like any other clip. So if you have a timeline created already, you could just drag this into the timeline or just simply right click and choose create new timeline using selected clips, give the timeline a name and then hit create. Once we've created the timeline, we can close the media pool. And notice down here that we've got this clip in the timeline. The first thing you're going to want to do is come up to the right here and click this button so we can see the dual view. On the right hand side is the timeline that we're editing and on the left is the source. You need to come down to this drop down, come down to multicam and select it. And when we do this, notice now we can see all of the synced camera angles. Just going to find where I want this edit to start and then just trim the start and trim the end and zoom in. At the minute, this timeline is starting using angle one, which is actually the phone that I had down there on the desktop. I don't want to start with angle one. I actually want to start with angle three here. If you want to change the angle of an existing clip on the timeline, right click on the video, come up to this switch multicam clip angle and choose the angle you want. In this case, angle three. Notice again that we're just working with sequential angle numbers here, which is a bit annoying. We'll fix that in a minute. So I'm going to choose angle three. Watch what happens in the main view here. Now we've switched to exactly the same point in time, but now we're looking at the A7S III camera. So now we've set our starting camera angle, we want to switch between the different cameras at certain points. One way to do that is to just position the playhead where you want to change the camera angle. I'll just play a little bit of this back. Making better looking. So say there we wanted to switch to angle two. One way to do this is to come up to this multicam view, hover over the angle you want to change to. Notice we get this little razor icon. If we click this, it's going to create a cut and then change the camera angle. You can see now we've got this cut here. If I play this back. Making better looking. 
can see that we cut between these two angles at this point. You may have heard a difference in the audio there, and that's because not only are we switching the video, we're also switching to the audio of the different cameras. In most cases, that's not what you want as it's gonna sound pretty terrible. You're normally gonna have one camera that's going to be recording the best audio. For example, this demo sequence that we're working with, the main camera was recording higher quality audio from this wireless microphone. So we want to make sure even if we change the video angle, we always want to be using the best sound, which is usually going to be coming from one camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that with Control Z and I'm going to click on the audio for this clip. So not the blue, but the green. Right click, come to switch multicam clip angle, and then choose where you want the audio to come from. In this case, the best audio is angle three because this microphone is wirelessly transmitting to the A7S III, which is angle three. When I do that, watch what happens in the audio here. It changes very slightly because it's a slightly different volume. But if I go and switch to angle two here, watch what happens. Notice down here, we've switched back to angle two's audio, which is definitely not what we want. I'll just undo that. That's where these three buttons here come in. Currently, this button is highlighted, which means means that anytime we make a cut, it's going to switch both the video and the audio. If we want to just switch the audio, we can use this button. But in this case, when we make a cut, we just want to switch the video and not the audio. So I'm going to change this by clicking on that button there. And now if I make the cut again, notice, that we've changed from angle three to angle two here. So now we're always going to use the audio from the best video file. Just undo that. Instead of clicking on each of these icons with this razor tool, whenever you want to make a change in camera angle, you can actually just play it back and then use the number keys on the keyboard to change in real time. Let me show you what I mean. So we'll just hit play. And then every time I want to make a cut, I'm going to hit one, two or three on the keyboard. Making better looking, better sounding and better edited video is what this channel is all about. If that's something that would be useful to you, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. So changing this in real time is a super simple and super quick way of quickly switching between those camera angles without having to manually create edit points and then manually choose each camera angle. This can be a quicker workflow if you've got a lot of editing to do and maybe multiple takes or a lot of errors that you want to cut out. You get to craft and refine the flow of the video first and then just worry about the camera angles later. Before before we do that, however, what we're going to do is we'll just delete this demo timeline and this demo multi-clip sequence, and we'll go and get the original clips, just move them up to this demo folder, and then just remove this original clips folder. Earlier in this video, I said there was a better way to actually create the camera angles rather than just sequential numbers. A great way to do that is to just come back to the media workspace here, and you can see here our three video clips. What you can do is right click on these column headers, and this gives you all of the different metadata that you can display. What you want to do is come up here and make sure you've got camera number selected. I'll just tick that. Now you can see we've got this camera column. If you click on one of these clips and then click in this camera number column, you get to enter a custom camera number, but it doesn't have to be a number. You can actually use any text you want. So in this case, I'm just going to say side. This is the phone that I had on the desktop. So let's just call this phone. And this is the A7R4, just call this front. Now we can once again create our multicam sequence by right clicking on all of the files, choosing create new multicam clip using selected clips. Give this a name. Once again, we want to sync on the sound in the video files, but this time for the angle name, rather than sequential, we're going to choose metadata camera. That's going to use those camera numbers that we just entered. This time I'm not going to move source clips to an original clips bin. So we'll just click create. Now we have our demo multicam sequence. Let's go and create a new timeline from it. Click create. And if we head over to the edit page, close the media pool. Once again, we've got our starting clip. Notice this time, however, rather than a single sequential number, we've actually got the name of the camera here, camera front. We'll make sure we're in multicam view. And now we can see that each of these angles is named front, phone, and side. That just makes it a bit more intuitive when we're editing. Once again, I'm going to select the audio that we want by right clicking on the audio and switching this to camera side, which has the best audio. We've still got this button selected here. So when we switch angles, it's not going to switch the audio. We'll just trim the start and also the end here. So in this second editing workflow, I'm going to edit the audio first and not really worry about the camera angle. We'll just trim the start here. So here we've got this pause. What I'm going to do is just hit control B to add a cut. Use control shift left bracket to close that gap a little bit and then just keep playing this back. 
another little pause here. So once again, I'm going to hit Control B, just screw up closer to the next bit, close that gap, do the same here. So now we've got things a bit tighter. We can go and change the camera angles wherever we want. So you can right click on the video and come to switch multicam clip angle and choose which one you want. Another way is to select the clip, hold down Control and Shift, and then use the left and right arrows on the keyboard. So if I tap the right arrow, watch what happens. It switches from camera front to camera phone. And if I hit the right arrow again with Control and Shift held down, it switches to side and you can cycle through these angles by either using control shift left arrow or control shift right arrow. When I'm doing this, notice what's happening in the clip, cycling through all the different camera angles. But let's start off with the side angle. We can select the next clip and once again, use control shift and left or right to change the angles. I'm just going to play this back and add some more edit points so you can see the process. Making better look so we want to switch to the front camera there I'm going to hit Control B and now what I need to do is hit shift V to select that clip and then hit Control shift left arrow right arrow let's check out that so here I'm looking down at the phone on the desktop so we want to add another edit point there I can hit Control B hit shift V to select that hit Control shift and then switch to the phone on the desktop let's just review that better looking better sounding and better editing so that cut was a little bit late so what we can do is find where we actually want that to happen so probably we want to make the cut around there very simple to do that hover over the edit point left click and then just drag maybe something like that let's review that making better looking better sounding and better editing and that's a lot cleaner don't forget to subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in the next one